Geraldine Highwood coming into this one, still undefeated on the year. For Benton coming in a little more hungry, looking for some revenge after getting knocked off by Geraldine Highwood in the district championship last week. Let's see just what happened in the rematch. First set, rivals are holding on to a one-point lead, and senior Abigail Dines punches it down the middle for the kill. Longhorns front row getting busy as they dump it over for the point. Rivals are staying in it, but Emerson Geisey gets the cross-court kill and the lead is up to three. Next play, Rivals go back to Dines and records another kill, neither team giving up much ground. On to the second set, after Fort Benton gets the first, Asia Roland finds a big swing and puts it down for the kill. Rivals are scrambling in the front row and the third hit finds its way over for a Rivals point. Rivals back on the attack, but Chloe Kablenick is able to hustle and dig it out, and Geisey finishes again with the kill down the middle. Longhorns are up 24-20 and get the service ace to win the second set. Rivals going back to their seniors to get back into it, dines again with a front row kill. Rivals would fight back and ultimately Fort Benton wins in four sets. With the upset win, Fort Benton has secured their place at state. Geraldine Highwood will await the winner of Belt and Sims. In Belt, Asher Lives, MTN Sports.